Hi everyone and welcome back to The Colour Cave where we like to have electricity and water. So I'm still here, I'm alive, I am uninjured as is everyone else. Storm Arwen absolutely battered us and we're just starting to get back to normal. The only thing that's not back to normal is the temperature in the cave. It actually feels like a cave. Uh, we've hit the balmy heights of 6 degrees Celsius because the house was so cold for so many days. It's taken a long time to heat back up, but we're getting there. I just wanted to thank you all very, very much for all your comments and messages, emails of support. Admittedly, I didn't get to read most of them until like last night, but I just want you to know that I really appreciate it. And um, it, it was a bit of tough going, but we made it. There was no major disasters. Everyone stayed warm and well. It was just a lot of work to get everything back to where it should be. So with that in mind, I have basically lost a week of my life where I would normally be really busy, as you guys know. And that's the kind of things, like the impact of that is what I want to talk about in this update video today. So first things first, I am hoping to have a video out in some sort of fashion by Sunday. If it's not going to be ready on Sunday, it will be on Monday. So please stay tuned and I'm going to try and get back to the normal video schedule as quickly as possible from this point. I am literally chasing my tail playing catch up, but we will get there. And I'm confident that there'll be a video ready for Sunday or Monday. So at least you don't have withdrawal symptoms for too long because we can't have that, can we? Can't have that. The other thing that it's heavily impacted is cavemus. Normally I would be filming two videos and editing one video a day at this time of year and I have been unable to do that. To add an insult to injury, just before the power went off, I was actually in the process of sorting out some of the cavemus footage that I pre-film and I've lost it. It's now too late into December for me to continue filming and basically refilm things. I can't do it. And there's some things that I can't redo. For example, I can't uncolor a coloring page. I've given this a bit of thought. That's what I started doing last night with like all my thermal gear back on until the house started to heat up. But I've kind of rejigged the Cavemus schedule. So Cavemus is not cancelled or anything like that. But we are going to have a slightly slimmed down Cavemus this year. And that's just to allow me to catch up with my proper job, continue to clear up the absolute disaster area that's surrounding the farm and also to continue to put out videos as well. So normally what we would do is we start Cavemus on the 21st of December and we have a video every day right through until the 1st of January inclusive. So what I'm going to do this year is there will be no videos on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day or Boxing Day. If I omit those three days, which are technically public holidays anyway, and everyone else gets them off, so why shouldn't I? Just kidding. If I take those out, I'm able to still put out good quality content and give you guys some really good fun and some really good videos. So that's kind of what I'm working towards. I think it's sensible. I think it's feasible. And I don't think I'm going to be pushing too hard to try and squeeze that in and amongst everything else. So I'm sorry if that's a bit of a disappointment to some of you. I know there's a few of you that don't celebrate Christmas and a few of you that are also on your own in the festive period. And you've told me in the past that these videos on those particular days provide you with some sort of company and comfort. So I'm sorry that I'm not going to be able to do that for you this year. But there will be a video every day sandwiched either side of those three Christmas holiday days. So don't despair. And if you're still lacking in the cavemus spirit and you need to find a bit more, or maybe you're just binging, we do have the previous cavemuses that you can go back and watch. They all have their own individual playlist. If you want to click on the tab along the top of the channel landing page, you will find them there and you can cavemus yourself until you can't cavemus anymore. So now, obviously, crucial information about cavemus is the dates of the live streams, because that is super duper important. So this is the date to mark in your diary. I will mark the live stream as a schedule so that you can set a reminder for yourself on your device. Or if you just want to be old fashioned and write it down in pencil and paper, that's fine by me as well. The first day of cavemus is going to be our first live stream. So that will be the 21st of December. I will provide more details about that in the in the upcoming days, just once I've found my feet a bit more and kind of got a bit more back to normal. But that is the date to save in your diary. And that is the day we're going to have our charity stream. 
It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, there may or may not be alcohol involved. And I'm hoping that we can raise a little bit of money for charity. I will also be putting my hand in my pocket as well. I'm not expecting you guys to do all the legwork. So that is crucially important. If you can only make one live stream, I would love it if you could make it on Tuesday the 21st of December. The second live stream is going to be on New Year's Eve. I thought that was a really good time for us to have the, the second one and it's a doozy. You're going to love it what I've got planned for that. New Year's Eve in Scotland is a much bigger deal than Christmas Eve and it's just an excuse for all of us to get drunk like we need an excuse to do that. But it's a very festive day for us and everyone's usually in good spirits, pardon the pun. I will be getting dressed up on New Year's Eve and ready to party my little pants off later on in the evening. So we're going to do this stream Earlier on in the day UK time, more details of that will come to fruition over the next week or so. So once again, I'll set a schedule for that and hopefully you will be able to join me on New Year's Eve. The last thing I wanted to update you on is, of course, the stash shop and the website. Obviously, I've been unable to do any updating. I've not been able to sort out shop stock or anything like that. So that's been a bit of a bummer. Apologies to those of you who have had a delay to your parcels. If you don't have them already, they are on their way. And I'm really, really sorry about that. But I physically couldn't get out to the post office. There was too many trees in the way. Anyway, I digress. Yes, so the stash shop, I have a whole bundle of stuff to go up in the stash shop. And over the course of today, tomorrow and Sunday, I will be systematically putting them up. So everything's going to be up there, hopefully by Sunday. And that's kind of my priority over filming a video because I'm aware it's getting to that time of year where delivery times you know, busy post, all the rest of it. So to give you a little taster of what we've got, I have restocked the A6 postcards, the watercolour postcards. They went really quickly last time. So these are back in stock if you want to grab yourself some and make yourself some festive or winter themed watercolour postcards. Send them to someone you like. I've also got some tasty, tasty things as well. Um, I've got things like, I've got this lovely Tombow set of pens and I've got more than one of these. And I'm also stocking little packs of the Posca pens, you know, like the little mixed packs. So there's lots and lots of little goodies like that going up in the stash shop in the next couple of days. So please check back on a regular basis if you're looking for maybe a little treat for yourself. You know, maybe your family member said to you, yeah, go buy yourself something. Okay, it's Christmas. Come to, come to the cave. Come to the cave. I also have more practical things as well, like uh, these little sanding boards. And I've used these quite a lot just recently in quite a few videos and these are great to have for sharpening your pastel pencils. They're also really good for cleaning off and putting a point on blending stumps as well which obviously can be used with pastels, charcoal etc. So I, I'm trying to be practical and not frivolous with the things in the shop. Finally the last thing that's going to be going up in the shop and again this is going to be happening all throughout December. We talked about the loose artwork situation as of Monday, I will be putting up a few pieces of loose artwork. Now, it's important to note that these pieces, they're not prints. They are all original artworks. Quite a lot of them are done on the channel. Some of them are not. But the money from this is going to be split in half and half of the sale of every item will be going to charity. And we're going to lump that in with the money we've been saving up over the course of the year as well as whatever else we can get together in the live stream. So this is quite a big deal. And I'm really, really hoping that some of you will at least go and have a look and see if there's anything that tickles your fancy because it's doing me a favour. We're going to raise money for charity and it might make you happy to know that you've got a cave artwork somewhere in your house. Even if it just makes you smile because I told a stupid joke when I was making it, that's good enough for me. So please keep checking back in the stash shop. This is the address that you need to go to and everything is all there for you. Any contributions in that sense, greatly, greatly appreciated. And also as well for transparency, I will be taking any admin costs, for example, PayPal fees, that kind of thing. That will come out of the caves half of the money, not the charity half of the money. So dig deep, guys. It's that time of year. We're going to do it and we're going to have a huge lump of money to give to a charity in the new year. Wow, I'm tired. <laughs> that was a lot. Uh, yeah, so that's it for today, guys. I seem to be doing more of these update videos than actual art videos just now, but it's all for good reason. And I just wanted to let you know that I'm okay. Everything's okay. Well, everything's most okay. The cows are okay. That's the main thing. Dogs are okay too. Also the main thing. 
And uh, just thanks again for being patient. Uh, this hasn't been easy. And some of my neighbours further up the Glen, further north, they still don't have any power. And that's that's over a week now. So we're trying to trying to do our best and still kind of get our lives back together and get on and move as many trees as possible out the way so we can get places. So I really, really appreciate that a lot of you have stuck around and, you know, things like this don't bother you. It's only been a week without videos. A less loyal audience might not feel the same way. So thank you once again. I'm always appreciative of you guys, you know that. But special, special gratitude because when the power did go back on, and I checked all my messages and my emails. It was so lovely to see from all of you. So thanks again. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you back in the cave on Sunday for another video. So have a good day, everyone. Bye for now.